everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to a new food slash things to do in London video. Today, Clink Hostels and I are bringing you the most insane pancake places in London. In this video, I am going to test four of them. And if you want to find out about even more restaurants, you can click the link down below. This will lead you to the Clink Hostels website for a blog post all about pancakes in London. So you might be wondering, Sandy, where are you? Why are you standing outside in the park? I am in fact in Green Park, which is the closest tube station to our first restaurant, which is called The Woolsey or The Woolsey. Let's go. So these are fresh pancakes with seasonal berries and I have to give a 10 out of 10 for presentation. Very, very nice. This one here is basically not sweet, which makes it really, really fresh. The berries are actually fresh and the pancakes are super fluffy. So do come here for a special occasion. So I just saw something super cute. Basically in the restaurant, you can get these cards of the restaurant. And if you want to send them to someone back home, they will do it for you. So they stamp your card and obviously you can write it and send it right to your parents. <laughs> at home, which I thought was really cool for you guys to know. We have arrived in Brixton at our second stop, which is called Zenzala, looks like this. And we are currently in the queue, I'll just show you roughly. <laughs> Apparently the wait is only going to be 10 minutes or so, at least it's a very popular place. Zenzala is a Brazilian word for houses where slaves used to be. And from those houses a lot of Brazilian culture developed, such as capoeira for example. So the guys who own this restaurant basically said, let's honor these people and let's name our restaurant after those slave houses because they founded our culture, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, pancakes we just got a cocktail and I want to tell you guys this is one of the best cocktails I've had in a very long time it's called a chili martini I think a chili martini and this is a, a straight 10 from me so here is my vegan prep or galette we've got some uh, garlic mushrooms some roast tomatoes spinach loads of goodies obviously my cocktail and antonia's got one with salmon and egg let's eat as you've seen i added a little bit of chili sauce antonia just said it might well be the best crepe she's ever eaten and i think i agree with you you know <laughs> Come here for good cocktails, amazing vegan crepes, amazing normal crepes, galettes, good vibes. I'm very impressed. our market obviously and we are at a place called where the pancakes are so i have to show you antonia's first just because it might well be the most beautiful pancake we've seen today this is a pear and almond and loads of other amazing things and i mean uh, mine is called a thousand greens which is definitely true there's a, <laughs> a lot of greens here so let's a dig in Ooh, so we just got the bill and i thought this was quite cute so the bill is here and it came in a little poem book basically so if you fancy reading out a poem to <laughs> whoever you're with you are more than welcome to do that at where the pancakes are 
Okay, we finished our pancakes. However, I finished 80% and Antonia finished all of hers. The pear pancake was definitely the winner. Mine was delicious, but very, very healthy. <laughs> and I think overall a pancake is like seven pounds 50, so price-wise, pretty good. And I think, you know, the vibe here is very nice as well. So on to pancake place number four. Good morning everybody, it's time for pancake place number four. It's literally like seven o'clock in the morning, but there's always time for pancakes. I am in King's Cross and I'm gonna eat at Granger and Co. So here we are, the very famous ricotta pancakes from Granger and Co. And I have some maple syrup, so let's do this. Let's do a slow-mo. Okay, so I have to show you how fluffy these pancakes are. I'm gonna try and zoom in. There we are, look at that. The fluffiest ones I had so far, for sure. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, one, two, three, or four. Comment now and click the link below to the Clink Hostels blog post about more pancakes in London. I will see you very soon. Happy Pancake Day. <laughs> Bye.